Hi, we're out on the new run course for Subaru Ironman Canada. It is a beautiful KVR. We've got bikers here, we've got runners here all summer long. My name is Jeff Simons. I'm going to give you my tips to crush out a killer marathon at the end of your Ironman. So the first tip, going back to what I just said, I actually never use the word marathon. I like to think of it as a long run that hurts a lot because the marathon kind of brings its own mystique and own pain. And I find that an Ironman run feels like a long run. Like the way you start that pacing off, you want it to feel like a long run. It's very easy at the start. And don't worry, it's going to get really hard near the end. So go out a bit easy, especially on this course. You've got a wicked hill coming up, uh, Vancouver Hill in the first mile. Go very easy if you can. Take your nutrition in. Don't worry about the screaming fans. Don't worry about the spectators. Focus on your race. Go easy. I usually give myself in an Ironman until five kilometers. I say go easy until 5K, and if you feel good, pick it up from there. Usually by the time I get to 5K, I'm like, you know what? I'm already settled into a good pace. So once you've done that first 5K and you're setting up yourself for the rest of the marathon, make sure you're getting in your nutrition. We've done another video covering nutrition tips have it all planned out, get that hydration in, have it planned out by each aid station, which is a mile apart. Uh, the next thing I'm thinking about, I'm constantly thinking on the run about mantras. I'm constantly telling myself, relaxed and flying, your pace negative split. And the relaxed and flying is just to get in that good, smooth, relaxed rhythm where you're feeling good, and the your pace negative split that's just thinking about do what I'm doing. Don't worry about anybody that's passing you. Just focus on what you need to do to get to the finish line as, uh, as fast as possible. The negative split aspect. When you're doing an Ironman, you wanna try and even split the race. But I find no matter how much I think about holding back in the first half, I'm always slower in the second half. But if I'm thinking negative split, I can even that out and get to a more optimal time. Also, there's nothing better than hitting that halfway mark 21.1 kilometers, knowing that you're holding out for a bit of a negative split. You know, when everyone else is going, oh my God, I gotta do that all over again. And you're thinking, this is my time. I'm getting chills just thinking about it. This is my time. It's gonna give you a great psychological boost and get you ready to go. Another thing I do is staying loose in that first half. You know, like cheer on people, give them that encouragement. Uh, if you're seeing someone, you know, say, hey, great job on one of these out and backs. And you're not just saying great job to them, you're also saying it to yourself. If you're giving out that positive energy, you're gonna get it. And if you're breathing so hard that you can't say, a, hey, good work, keep it up, then uh, you're probably going too hard. You know, you can get ugly in the last 10K, but up until, uh, you know, at least until halfway, you wanna be making those jokes and staying light. I'm gonna be an Iron Man. <laughs> I also have little things, you know, I make a mental game plan. What do I want to be thinking about at each point during the race? And I also have a few key points to kind of boost my energy and get me out of those doldrums, those lulls that everyone talks about during an Ironman. Sometimes it's just giving a quick woo! Sometimes it's a thank you to a volunteer. It's just something to spike that up. Thanking the volunteers, that could be another its own tip, especially during aid stations on multiple loop courses. They're just going to be that much nicer to you the time around. And also, it's just polite and a great thing to do. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you guys. I'm going to be cheering you on. If you see me, yell at me, get ugly. That's what I like to, uh, to have cheering. Let me know, too, what you guys want to hear, and I'll try and yell it at you on the out and back.